you know, as I grew older I and a little bit bigger, I started working on the big top. I worked on the big top for about eight years. It was hard work and uh, we'd put it up every day, take it down every day, except when we stay in like a, a three-day stand and we put it up uh, and leave it like two or three days. And when we'd do that, it was just like breath, for, you know, breath of fresh air, having a night off and not have to tear the tent down because about 10 o'clock you have to go and tear it down and it takes you about two, th two or three hours. Or it takes you. However, if the weather is real bad, it takes you fat. It, you'd be surprised how the fast the tents. The, we put Carson Barnes five ring circus tent down in 45 minutes before. We didn't load the seats. We knocked them down on the ground and got the tent down before the storm come. So we were in a hurry. I mean, we've done stuff like that. Can you, know? you walk me through the process of setting up a tent? Well, uh, first of all. It's, well, let me go back to how it's rolled up and and uh, unrolled. Uh, it's called a spool truck, which I drove for about six years. You know, I backed the tent up, rolling the tent up and unload, rolling it every morning, and then at night I'd roll it back up. You know, I'd load it up. I did that for six years, and it was a spool truck. It had two big sections to it, and... Uh, it was chain driven by PTO and there was two big spools and we just back up and the tent would roll up in there and just make a big ball. It would be cut in two sections right in the middle. And eventually we got an idea where we extended the back of the truck out with a roller and when the truck backed up the tent could go back up under the truck a little ways so we could roll it faster. That was the whole thing because when you when you roll it up and it tightens up you can't pull it so this way we could back up further and it'd come out up underneath this roller see it'd go back up underneath and like this so and that was I don't know whose idea that was I think it was Jaime Garcia's but that's my brother-in-law but he come up with that and you could roll it faster and more at one time instead of stopping every time you could back up until that back wheel got up to the tent and then you could roll it and it just you know roll about three times more than what we did before you know it was like trial and error you know uh, but I, I backed the truck up every night whenever it was rolled up uh, working with an animal you know an elephant all the time Barbara I worked with her probably Barbara the elephant uh, at least two hours a day with her, putting the tent up, and then we uh, we used her to set our seats with. She'd pick them up and set them down by my control. I'd tell her to back up, or you know, of course she had somebody helping her, but I'd tell them when to back up, set the seat down, and they we'd unload all our reserve seats by elephant power, you know, and, and we use the elephant everywhere we can, and they love to do it. And it's just something that they love to do and uh, I backed that truck up of course you know I was I, I did the water I made sure every trailer house had water uh, so they could have a bath I just find that you know I'd find the we call it a 24 hour man and I'd find out where's the water it could be a water faucet right there next to the elephants I'd hope and I say just start filling it up or there could be a spigot uptown or a, a water faucet or a hydrant somewhere they'd let us tap into I'd go get these water trucks which were they were a stake driver too they were, we kinda use them two different ways which drive the stakes in the ground I'd go get water make sure everything had water the cookhouse pie car all the tanks were tapped off every day you know and you know, just a guy to do that. I had a, you know, there were, you know, a few people there, that, you know, that would do that. And how long me. would that take normally? It would take all day. To do the water? Yeah. It'd take a, it, I mean, when you got 20-some uh, elephants, it took 5,000 gallons a day, what it took. That's what it took.
close to 5,000 feet, and a lot of that's the elephants drinking it. Mm -hmm. They drank like four times, four times a day. So each, each trailer house got a certain amount, or? Filled up. It, we just had a guy with a water hose. We had a, uh, the water truck had a small pump on it, and we just go over in with a hose, fill everybody's up. A guy did that, you know, and the cookhouse, pie car, make sure the concessions, they're all full. I mean, there's a, it's, and then when you just start thinking, I mean, it's just a full-time job, well, like, you know, and uh, especially if, if it takes a long time to get it, you know, people will be sitting there with their buckets and hey, come on, because they come get bucket loads of it just to take a bath with or you wash do, up with. You would do that after you set the tent up? Or? I'd be doing it after the states were driven, where the tent, see, that's where the water trucks were too. They were kind of like a tandem thing there. And they would uh, drive the strakes, and then the second that last stake was driven, or the other one would pull off. And we had two of them that would drive around. One would pull off, and by then I knew where to get the water, and I said, head that way and go right over there. And we had a big tank by the elephants. So I'd just tell them, go get a load, and unload it in there. You know, just start unloading as fast as you can. And we had another truck, and I, he would do the trailers and stuff and help with the animals. I, I, the animals would get water first before the people would. It's my way I worked at. I, I didn't, you know, I'm sorry if you got water in your trailer and you need to take a bath, you should have waited or should have filled up on the way or whatever, but the hippo's going to get his tank full before you get your bath. Sorry. And that's just the way it is. And the animals came first, always. That's just the way it was. Working on the circus makes everything, to me, look pretty easy. I don't know, uh, when you get up at 5.36 and then go, you know, you go to bed about 12 and try to get a nap between, that seems pretty hard. And then when you come over here and you got an eight-hour job and you get up and you go home, I mean, you don't have to worry about anything. It's simple to me. So circus made my other life, my sit, my town life, simple and the the work I don't know electrician I'm an electrician right now straight I mean I don't it's not real hard I mean I don't know why it's just and I own my own railroad business for about six years so that was kind of making everything easy too because when I worked from my railroad business well I went from you know working for, uh, from the circus when I started my railroad business, there were so many similarities to it. It just kind of scared me, you know. I said, wow, this is something, you know. But that's how I kind of attacked that, you know, because I'd have, they'd call me out in the middle of the night to put a, re-rail a train, you know, put a engine back on, and it's just like somebody waking you up in the, on the show, honking the horn, say, get up and go. But you could call mean, Barbara. Yeah, I couldn't call Barbara. Well, I sure wished her. I sent, I wished I needed her a lot. <laughs> she's a good girl. Even if she just stood by me and said, "Hey, mine," you know, because uh, a lot of times when we put the big top up, she'd be the one to put the tent up, and I'd see her every day. And I mean, you got to understand, the elephant's so intelligent that it's just it's imaginable, you know, how smart they are. And he knew where. She knew who everybody was and what they did, and, you know. And I'd come up to her, talk to her, even in the elephant barn. I'd, they'd have a tub of oats right there, and I'd go in there and I'd sneak in. I'd she, first thing I'd walk in, she'd be the first elephant in the elephant barn. She'd trump it up, open her mouth. I'd go over handfuls of oats and throw it in there, you know. And I could walk around them and everything. It wasn't no big deal. You know, they were sweet to me. I loved every one of them.